Hi, my name is Sakara Anderson, and these are all the games I made in Gaming Interactive. There are three in total, and all my games are related. They are all single player, interactive fiction, surreal, funny, and of course, dark. My main focus in making these games is to make them bizarre. You don't really need to be stressed out while playing this game. Just let your curiosity run unchecked. My current game, Captivated Oppression, is the first game I made into a visual novel. With the help of a fantastic artist, I was able to create this game. In the future, I plan on continuing to make games in this genre, bizarre, funny, and all are interesting. And with a quick second, I will show you my current game. So this is my current game and how it looks. Here are the options you could choose to start it and then again, quit it. So for now, I'm just going to mute it and start the game. So this is how the game starts. You can click space bar or just tap on the screen to keep the text going. And then here are your options. I'm not gonna click on all of them and I know I'm running on time, so I'll just show you how many endings. So there are 10 dead endings and 10 good endings. And again, it's very scary. So I wanna make that really clear. Maybe not so much to certain people, but definitely, definitely expect it. So that is my current game. And that's all the games I've made in Gaming Act Interactive, sorry, for the 2023 year. And I'm really happy to be a part of this team. And I think that's it. Thank you. Hi, y'all. My name is Adrian Marfo Nunez, and I'm a member of Better Youth's Gaming Cohort for the Aim and Inspire program 2023. And for my final project, I wanted to make a visual novel type game in the engine known as RenPy. I chose RenPy specifically because some of my favorite games were made in RenPy. Some examples are Doki Doki Literature Club and Katawa Shoujo. Now, RenPy is a visual novel engine specifically made to make visual novels. However, with a little bit of Python knowledge, you can add some really cool side or mini games to it, which is what I plan to do. Let me share my screen real quick. So my first mini game idea is a turn-based combat system in the same vein as Pokemon and Persona. Now, the way this works is for each player's turn, it'll do an automatic dice roll, similar to D&D. And each dice roll will determine enemy order and attack order. Now, let me show a small example. Player one's turn. Mm, I'm going to attack the water enemy. And I'll do a vine whip. And I did an immense amount of damage. Similar to like in Pokemon, I put in resistances and weaknesses into the game. So fire is really good against grass. Grass is good against water. Water is good against fire, so on and so forth. I plan to add even more characters and more battles into the very final version of my game. And I also plan to add more mini games to it. So this is just one pathway out of three pathways I plan on making. For the other two pathways, I'm hoping to add a rhythmish type game and a point and click mystery adventure. And yeah, so let's let's do a little power kick. Nice. And let me keep going until we get the enemies to attack. Ooh. Ooh. That looks like it hurts. Ow. Okay. So this is just a very small sneak preview of my game. I'm hoping it'll be much bigger than this in the near future. All right. Thank you guys. Hey everyone, I'm Mikey Gutierrez from the Gaming Cohort of the Better Youth Program, and I'm going to be talking about and showing you stuff that you can do on the gaming platform Twine. Twine is the gaming platform I chose to work on because it's cool to work on and it also has to do with storytelling. And in my opinion, I love storytelling and the different ways that you can tell it. My inspiration for my story was the Marvel movies and my show, The Walking Dead. These are my inspirations because I enjoy watching these shows over and over, so basically they are my comfort shows. And I knew I had to take this chance to make a story mixed with both of my favorite worlds. So that's what I did. And so overall, this platform was really great for me and helped me reach my full potential and being able to make my own story. And so now I'm going to show you a little about my game. The Wake. Do you have what it takes to survive and beat your worst enemy for the second time? Do you? 
but with even more to lose now than ever before. You can either press on more, where it shows you the characters' names and the abilities that they are able to do. You can either go to credits, you can see the creator and the writer, and you can start it. You wake up and you realize you've been defeated by your worst enemy and you have gone for the last five years and everything and everyone you knew is different now. But even worse, your enemy is still alive and terrorizing everyone. So you have a second chance at this. Are you going to shut down and wait to die? Or are you going to put in that work to put in to protect everyone and defeat your arch enemy who has been waiting and training for you to come back? If you believe you can work by yourself to defeat your enemy, choose choice one. If you would like some company and help when choose choice two. I'm going to choose choice two. So you are greeted by all of your buddies and all of your buddies help you with many different tasks. Rocket and Tree will be on your backup and on deck. Mantis and Drax will help things go easier if you are in a tough situation. I know our names may sound funny and we may not look big or strong, but we will go right through you without a sweat. You and your team prepare and gear up and get ready to kill your enemy, but it won't be easy because you have to pick either you have to pick two routes to go through, route one or route two. Each route has very different possibilities and craziness to each of the route. And they both have their own crisis. Hi, my name is Ollie. I'm a writer and game developer.